Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today in regard to two things. One being how I'm doing in the event and the other is quick victories. Obviously uh, the event thing won't last. Uh, thus to mean that you know next next month you're probably not going to watch this video and go oh that's how you do that event. But the town center or quick victory and how to get there I think that'll last. So we're going to try and cover that first. I think that's the wise way to do it. Um, so this is more important in war than in your general rating. However, your quick victory comes as a result of either taking out the town center uh, in, with 2 minutes 30 seconds remaining, or alternately uh, destroying over 50% of the base. Uh, and that's based on hit points. It's not based on the number of buildings. Don't make the same mistake that I made a few wars back. Um, so that's to mean that you actually have to destroy 50% worth of the hit points of a base, not just simply 50% of the buildings. So you can't say one, two, three, four buildings, and if you destroy two, you're going to have 50%. That's not how that works. So it's a bit confusing, and it is difficult to do. So... Um, I'm not going to cover that because it is so rare that it comes up that that would be an appropriate attack strategy uh, and one that would work out for you. We are going to go over the different methodologies you can use in order to get your city center or your town center quick victory. Um, and how are we going to do this? I guess a few things that you need to know is in regard to your troops. <laughs> the uh, the primary troop that you're going to be using or relying upon in order to get your quick victory is going to be your artillery uh, cannons or what are they called? Ballistas. Uh, they have a range of five. Why is that important? Because you need to know how far five spaces away is uh, in order to actually attack in different areas or different locations and to understand whether you need a wall sapper or you need to uh, alternately just run through his walls if they're low enough. So it is important to note that you know it's five and that's going to be your primary target. Uh, now as far as obtaining your quick victory uh, there's a few different things that you can do in regard to rallying. You can do a specific or a building rally uh, in order to actually target the, the city center or the town center or alternately and I found uh, it's appropriate in specific bases uh, you're better off doing a location rally that is within range of the city center or the town center uh, and why would you do one of those two things well <laughs> the the first one which is a, a rally on the actual city center would be used if one you've disabled it and two there's not a lot of one troops around the city center already existing and there's not a whole bunch of defenses that are around um, other instances include uh, it's close enough that you can get your artillery down or your heavies down target the city center and then get some supporting troops behind them uh, outside of that uh, the other scenario, of course, is going to be a location rally, which is where you rally just within range of the actual city center, and you allow your heavies and your, or, sorry, your artillery or your cannons or your ballistas to go ahead and attack that city center just naturally. Uh, the reasons for doing this, if there's a lot of defensive buildings around, so for instance, say you had, uh, say this was a little bit more fortified, we can even go in and I'll I'll show you my war base. Don't tell anybody. Um, let's see here. Actually, Marla, do you mind if I flip over your profile? Just so uh, I can no. scout my base. That way I can scout my base without divulging all of the traps and whatnot. Well, I don't know. I'm not that finicky. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. Next on Big Huge Games. Um, you're not under attack. I mean, that's good news. Uh, Alright. 
So let's go ahead and find my base. I think my base is probably a good example of where you would actually want to uh, use a location rally in order to take out my town center. And the reason being is that I, I do have a fair amount of, of coverage all around my city center or my town center. Uh, you would want a wall sapper to get in there. I have heard Marla say that she would be coming in right there. Uh, you would probably want to disable at a very bare minimum that and possibly those three. Um, now, the wall sapper would get you in here, and this is probably where you would want, you'd want to wait till that fell, and then what you would do is you would rally your troops right in there. Uh, you would rally them right in there because you would want your troops to naturally attack the things that were uh, most dangerous. You would want to have that support. Otherwise, you would get into a scenario where you're in a kill box. Uh, you're taking too much fire and you're too focused. Uh, and if somebody is similar to my base and they've got a decent road network, uh, or better, a lot of people I'm sure have better road networks, uh, then it's going to take a while. You target that thing, your troops are all going to die very quickly. Uh, before you have the opportunity to actually get through it. Now, so that's a good example of where you would not want to target just the city center. Who else is there? Should we pick on Felix? No. I'll tell you what, let's flip back over to my account. Um, and I'm going to tell you how I'm doing in the event first. And then I will go and do a quick raid for you guys. Industrial age. I think tomorrow, or the day after, probably Friday afternoon or night. Well, no, we've got live stream Friday coming up. So at some point I am going to go through what my preference is for upgrading and the reasons why I'm upgrading my Alliance gate. Uh... I'd like to do a review on that because I know a lot of people are up and coming. How am I doing the, in the event? Uh, my progress thus far, I have 1,881 out of 2,700 of the second stage, obviously. Uh, what have I been doing in order to actually uh, do well at this? What is it? Uh, I have been going with two Gatlins. Uh, two healing carts, uh, training blessing, and you find somebody with a Colosseum and a Necropolis if you can, and then you simply drop your Gatlins and let them go. Let me show you. So you find an opponent. Oh, and I did give up on the medals. I don't have the time necessary in order to actually continue climbing. Uh, and I was just bleeding out so many resources as a result of me just wanting to play all the time. So I would drop my peace treaty and then I'd get attacked. And I'd drop my peace treaty and then I'd get attacked. Alright. So this guy's got the Coliseum. Um, his city center's out. His town center's out. So I think this one... Because that's under construction... There's too much range on that. Too much range there, so let's find it. Let's find somebody else. We're going to carry on. The idea here isn't to win. We don't want to win. We just want to find somebody that's going to produce a lot of troops. Uh, and Gatlins are horrible at taking out buildings. Oh, see, this one's perfect. This one will work very well. So, what I have been doing is starting out, say, in the corner here, and you go with one, two, and then you throw two healing carts right behind them. And you just literally sit there and you wait for the troops to come. Every once in a while you can rally uh, if you find that they are going to be in trouble as well to keep them together. You want them to be rallied there. Check that out! And then they just keep coming. The reason that I picked this guy is because he does have um, uh, his vault is right there. And depending on the strength of the guy, you might need three, you might need two. Um, doo -doo -doo. And now, once you get your guys 
kind of situated to a point where they're activating some of those. What I have been doing is wandering around and dropping some of these guys in order to get more troops coming my way. Huzzah! Uh, and see that initial activation that goes through. And I think that's that there. And keep a close eye on these guys. Might actually need to drop one more because there are quite a lot of my healing cart was actually under fire. But those are just few Saliers that I'm dropping in there. Uh, I don't have shock infantry yet, which is the uh, Greek foot soldier. And no, we want you back here. Stay back here. So, and that's, that is the problem that I've been finding, is that sometimes the foot soldiers do a little bit too well. They do their jobs too well. See, why would you do that? See, and in this instance, I am failing hard. So I've got another healing card there. So, now we've got a fair amount of troops coming at me. And I've still got a minute left, so I can just kind of hang out. We're going to get them to all go over here because I don't want to be under fire from any of those defensive buildings. I just want to be close enough that I'm actually forcing them to pop out troops. And this is where the Acropolis would obviously be helpful. Uh, he would be pumping out troops like crazy and that, that's okay. You want that. My one little healing cart. Stop attacking that. It produces troops. We don't want to kill it. Um, go there. Oh, see, we killed it. That's too late. That's unfortunate. And this guy has, like, no loot available. But you can see that the Gatliners, like, they mow through troops like nobody's business. Especially the foot soldiers. It does take them a little bit longer to, uh, obviously get through some of the heavier troops, like the actual horsed troops, your heavies. But they still mow through them fairly quickly, and they do take a lot of damage. One second! And that's how I've been doing. So, let's see how that one actually worked out. And this is where the training blessing obviously comes in, in handy. Otherwise I would be waiting 15 minutes per healing cart. Uh, and I don't want to wait 15 minutes per healing cart. And this only works obviously if you don't care about your metals. Uh, if your metal count is too high, then uh, you're probably going to want to use something else to actually try and kill a lot of troops. But let's see, so, yeah, 2004. So that's roughly in and around what? I was 1881 before, and I've got 2004 now. So in and around to 120, 120 troops. So I think this is going to be a, a bit more difficult than we would all like to think. We all looked at this initially and went, oh, that's easy. We can do that. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit harder than we initially perceived. There's going to be a lot of blessings, but it will force a lot more activity as well. Um, now, do we want to actually do a full-on attack? No, I don't think so. I hope you guys find this helpful. Uh, if you did, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, I would appreciate any comments. If you guys want me to do a specific video, I'm always open to suggestion. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.